Ah, mm -hmm. uh, good evening. My brothers and my sisters, I want to talk about uh, some history for Benin. Uh, I want to use uh, our language or in broken English. Please, if you want me to use uh, my local language to talk the history, uh, send me a message for WhatsApp. I don't know because if I see many people write me here, it will take a long time before I feel understand. I want to talk the history. I want to talk history concerning this Oba and Oba, what is the name of the Oba? The history concerning Oba o, o Zulua and how the 200 wars were in fights. So, because they, they, the way they did the interpret and they're wrong, because many people don't understand the history. So they, they lie to many people because many many of them believe in lie. They believe to lie, lie, lie to them. So thank you very much. Let me start from here. I know. Uh, please, if you want me to wait, I salute you. Please, if you hear me right, yes, and uh, just write the language you want me to talk. If not my language do or my English, you write so that make we know. We need only two people to write which language, English or which language. Please write so that we will feel talk. Universe. Please, if you are here, you want us to talk the history, write which language. If I wait, reach two minutes or one minute, nobody talk, I will use my language. If you want me to use English, say write and write English. If there is no answer, I will use my language to, to say it. Ah, the volume is low. Wait, let me...
Can you hear now? You say the volume is low, or you want to off it again and on it? So the volume is low. Let me see if the volume is low. If I wait, reach two minutes. No, the volume is not One minute, now. nobody talk. I will use my language. If you want me to use English, I write and write English. There is no answer. I will use my language to see it. Oh, yes. Uh, we are hearing you. Yes, thank you. Uh, the volume is low. The volume is not low. Some people they are there to cause confusion. Uh, we want to talk about history today. Uh, good evening, my brothers. We want to talk about the history of uh, how people, some people like the people of Ondo. The present day Undo states, the people of Undo town and the Osama, I don't know, how do you call that king in Undo? The Osama way of Undo. I know the people of Undo today, they will Undo town, they will like to hear their history because uh, they don't know how they come about. So they want to know their history, you know? And uh, some people want to, some people want to know their history. So we will start from the uh the place who they call Oba Ozulua. Oba Ozulua. And then we we'll go for start. A my brothers and sisters, people want to know history. Some people want to know their history. We will start from Ozulua. Make we we'll use broken, make I try with broken English. Uh, Af uh, Ozolua was the son of Oba. Wait. Now the story and history that will tell you about this Oba that they call Ozolua. I know we caught commot, I know we lie put. But those many people when they look their cells, say they be say after Oba, after God now Oba and the uh, because they've been a primitive life, then they still they don't know anything. So now we will let them know their history so that they not will feel the form of way again. <laughs> they're not going to move again. So when we people to taste for inside we move, you know, good, you know, understand. So the history of uh, Ozolo and I will want to talk today. Ozolua was the son of Oba Olua. Ozolua was the son of Oba Olua in year. He became Oba in the year 1481. During the Oba Ozolua, and the white men come. During 14th century, the white men visited Benin. Right from the Oba Ozolua, let me tell you the list of our Oba. I have to educate my people. Uh, we need education, it's so important for us. I want to explain everything. Come on, come on, listen to our history. I would like to tell history because uh, I don't know which language I will use to talk about. Oba Ozolua, with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ozolua is number 16. Oba Ozolua is number 16. Oba of Benin number 16. I want to tell you what thing happened. From the time of the first Oba of Benin, that was a 12th century, can reach the time of Oba. The first Oba of Benin, I named Oba Eweka Adu, 
So come read the time of El Zolua in 1481. Between 281 years, they don't get 16 oba. When some people will talk about up there, just between 281 years, 16 oba na rule. So no rule reach three years. So no rule reach ten years. So no rule five years. You know, 16 oba, 200 and between 281 years, 16 oba na rule. When they will talk, say oba will live long. I think oba supposed to last 200 years. Eh? But you see, say they don't last because. We will talk the history. Make gonna share this video, make people know our history. Our children are supposed to know our history. We start from the beginning. After the death of Obaolua, the, the death of uh, Obaolua, the father of Obaolua, I, and I, I start from here now. After the death of Oba, his father, Oba Olua, Olua, the name of the father was a Yoruba name. I am not a racist. It's our history. We teach the history of our people. We want, we want our people to know their history. You see, the, the, the Obas we have in Benin are from Ilife. They are from Yoruba. They are not from our land. They are a descendant of uh, the Yoruba. So today, the reason why I come out to educate our people, because uh, our people, majority of our people have been blind with the fake history. They never, they know they teach our history for school. They know they tell us anything. All the things that they tell us, Oba is second God. Oba, after God created this world, he gave the whole world to, uh, to Oba. Make up the control and all those type of things now we get here. So we continue from here. After after the death of his father, Olua, Oba Ozolua met with the white man. The white man came through the riverine area. Through the Joe side, the Joe community, through those riverine area, they met with those riverine areas, and that is for you to know before the coming of the Oba. Those Ijo people, our people, this Igodomi Godo, were in existence. We were existing before the Oba Bini come from Ileife. So, when the white men, when they pass. They see they stop near near worry and they stop there. They come meet all those communities like all those Ijo, Shekiri, Rubos. They meet those people. They they say they want to establish trade with those people. Then these people come tell them they say come on. And other people still there inside inside these people. They, they eat human being. They they, they be can uh, cannibal. That is cannibal. That is somebody they eat human. A cannibal in nature, and they say they they be demi gods. Say people they worship. They want king with inside. They, they, they worship them as God. Now be God. <laughs> we both, we know, say they like to know more things. Ah, no, say, eh? People did that. They, they, they worship as God. We both never know say God. See the <laughs> human God. Now they take penetrate enter. That place that they meet with the Oba. In 14th century, the white first white men they met with Oba Ozolua. Right from history, come read the time of Oba Ozolua. There was never a time. See this Oba Bini go any place. Now so they capture this land. Now so they kill these people. Now so they do this one. They never get that power to do all this evil. But when the Portuguese came, 
they, they were very happy to see with the, with the Ferris inside palace, see humans cause, see the human being kill. They were very happy. They, they said, oh, instead of now to the kill all those people through way for sacrifice, we will buy it. More than the least, you know. <laughs> and the people, they, these people they were killing, the people where they kill. Now, our own, now the people where they come meet for our land because some of our elders betray our land. Now make you this is a, it's very difficult before you find a minimum who will progress. It's very difficult. If you progress, you will die miserable deaths. Because anywhere they go, the course of our ancestors, they follow them, they work out. Some I they see some people they will say uh, they will they, 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 they will say uh, I don't run, I know we will come to me again. But you will see the way they will die. They die miserable deaths as long as you are from that land. You conspire, your ancestors conspire <laughs> to do evil against the land. Your descendant will never know peace, except you return to your normal sense. So we continue from here. After the after our Zolado become over, the whole of Idu land we're having kings. If you from here move from Benina to Idugbo, you get Duke. From Idugbo, go to that side. Everywhere we're having their own leaders. In those days, it was Ugiso who was in charge. That's Igodo, who was King Igodo, who was in charge of all those dukes, those Igwe or, uh, or B, all those things. Because in those days, now how you strong. How how powerful you are, Naim they merit you kingship or duke, Igwe. And somebody will be say powerful way, we get key. Somebody will be a great person, person will do something, not be that's what they think they do and those days. But when Ozolo enter, Ozolo comes to say he need to kill all those our indigenous king he need to kill all of them so that they will conquer us right from 12th century AD can reach 14 281 years these people never conquer our land our people were still living as normal we're living fine Ozolua started the fight so now how you start the fight? Inside the Bini there, from Bini go that place that they call Gwilaka. That one get their own duke, person with the lord over the that is king. From Ogwilaka to Idubu, Idubu see get in your own king or Igwe or whatever you call them, or B or Izi, anyhow you call these names. We are living clan by clan. That is how I'm talking the history of Benin. How the city look like. The name is not called Benin. The name is called Idu Land, or you call it Igudo City. So I want to try to learn, learn try to speak this thing very well. So Oba Ozolua in 1481 century, they have an oracle. He went to Ife. Before you can become Oba, before you become Oba of Benin, you have to go to Ile Ife. If you don't go to Ile Ife, you cannot become Oba. That is their fatherland. They must go to Oromia. Oromia, uh, staff of office. Oromia shrine. And Odudu a shrine. Go perform some kind of rituals before they can come. So for when he go there, they tell and say he needs to destroy those igodos, igodos. You need to destroy us because without you not know, destroy our leader our 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 people you know we feel rude so when he come the first person we first we first kill was in the king in the there is a man who is called Eneki Hidinogulaka. That man 
it's an indigenous son of the land do 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 son so that one have his own followers just like asoba everybody were living like a form of in do, in that in the history says everybody was living on his home like family to family you have your family you have your gang that is how people were living group by group so the ozolwa which fights between Eniki and Nobilaka, he was not able to defeat him. There was a fight between him and the Eniki and Nobilaka. So when he did not feel defeat that man, when he finally cannot defeat the man, then he, he uh, what I said in broken English, that is, he, he connived with the wife, Yowu. Yowu, you see the name we answer in those days. And if you go and look for the meaning of that name, for you to know that our language we are speaking today is a mystery of Yoruba, of Ife, sorry. The language we Bini speak today is a, is a combination of Ife language. Because if you check the name of those people, they are named different from, from the name we are now answering today. When he went there, it was... Uh, then Oba Ozolua started with started the war to destroy our land, to invade us. The invasion war with Eniki Gidinobulaka, which is about uh, five kilometers from the palace. Five kilometers from Oba Palace. You can see, they say he conquered 200 villages and towns. Who did he conquer? Conquer the indigenous people of the land. You see? The people, no, so some people they ah, Ozolo Anibia Meko. Ozolo was a war emperor. Ozolo was this. And they imagine who Ozolo killed. You ask yourself a very question, simple question. Who Ozolo killed? Who in the kill? No, no, no. Okay, now we start it from there. Ozolo started, he started the war. From five kilometers from his palace, there was a man, he's a, he's a, a, a chief, not a chief under the Oba, he's on his own. His name is called Eniki Gidinobulaka. You see, look how Oba Abini starts this invasion. So I a good make I explain her easily or small. Maybe maybe I'm not perfect in explaining it, but I will try my best to explain it the way some people can understand a little bit. He attacked Eniki Gidinobulaka. The name is called Eniki Gidi Nobulaka. Eniki Gidi. And if you don't know the meaning of that name in our language, you will find, the, the, you see, the, the, the people that the Zolo are killed, the name, we, don't, we cannot tell you the meaning of their names. Their names, strange names. The name where those people, our leaders, where this of Zolo are killed, killed more than, I don't think can't how many of our leaders he killed. None of the names get meaning. Our language <laughs> that is you can only find the definition of those meaning in Yoruba language or Isha language or Ijo or Igbo all those Igbo sides. So in a kidi fight with the Oba at the end of the day, Oba have been enough defeat the time. Then it can consp uh, betray that is uh, conspire with the wife. The wife can betray her. Betray that Eniki uh, Gidinobulaka. As he betray her, Naya Oba Abini. He used that. Let uh, me make a show now this thing. Let me show. Yes. I will explain all these things so that make our people they understand that. You see this thing, way that they call her mother, this thing na cutlass. This one, na cutlass. You see, I see na cutlass. Na it the cuts people's heads. You see, now make the see that map. Now this thing, now be the sign with there. So I want to explain this to this one. Now be this one that you can't use. Take cut and make the no like heads. That is the chief of Ubulaka. Not chief on our bar, none of them were on our bar. Then everybody, all of them, they on their own. Now, history, they teach so. It cuts a naked, you know, like a head because 
a wife betrayer. Make I read that place so that many people see understand that place. Elekidi of Ogbilaka was betrayed by his wife, Eyogu, after the fall of her husband in a battle, Ozolwa. And Ozolwa married Eyogu. But a few weeks later, he had her head beheaded in a case, in case she should be betrayed. In case you should betray him into the hands of his enemy, just like the way her husband was betrayed. So, uh, <laughs> this English, uh, Eniki the Ofugulaka was on his own after our elders betrayed the trust of our land. Because after our elders betrayed Ogiamie, that is Ogiamie, is the that Ogiamie you see in Suguma Road. They, be, they will say betrayer among the lands who connive with a foreigner. So everybody now decided to be on his own. You and your family and your group, you will be on your own. Every each, each place they were having their own igwe because Ogiamie was being betrayed by some of our people. Ozolua now want, uh, want to expand to capture more places as, as he had to reach. Ozolua started this fight from Eneki Kidinobulaka. The wife of Eneki Kidinobulaka betrayed a husband his husband or her, her husband after he don't betray his husband he can't go marry Obazulua <laughs> I know that he list in this place after he don't betray the Eneke the Nubulaka he can't go marry Obazulua after two weeks when he marry Eneke the Nubulaka eh, marry Obazulua Obazulua carry the woman come out for harem the area Waited for the marry, cut the head of the woman. That is, that is your price for betrayer. The people like Eddie Murphy who are betrayers. In history, talk and say, people with a betray for Oba, all of them, they know they see the light of day. Yeah, yeah, go back, look, huh? Now, so history talk out. That people now they understand. So, so after Oba was killed, kill the naked, the noble like a, he started. Let me read some place for you. You see, they say history have it. They talk of our history. Say during the time of Obao Zolua, the people of Orium and local government today they were always fighting. They miss because many of them run. They don't agree with the Oba. They don't agree with betrayers. Where well, our ancestors, some of our leaders, ancestors betrayed the land. These these people they rebel how to kill the Oba to make sure that Oba no exists again forever. He said, may I read that? He said, may I read this place? He said, he said, tradition on history has it that the people of Iyo Koryomon, the people of Iyo Koryomon to the east of the, of the Oriomon River were always hostile and frequently engaged the Oba in a war. Uh -huh. So, the people of Orion or local government, they say local government call Orion. Those people where they, they fight to make sure they kill the Oba. 
Okay. We we'll continue from there. Among those people who, who attempt to oppose the Obawe or their neck was removed. <laughs> okay. So now, see the people were killed. But did they make I explain the people were Ozolo were killed? Some of the people were killed. And those people were killed, he can put his sons and his brothers for there as king, as a duke. So if you know, say you come from that community, you will see this. I know some people pronounce them well because those names, na ancient name, and they very hard to pronounce. Among those who, mm -hmm, blah blah blah, a nekidi of Ubulaka, a killer me cut his head. Oho, oho my brother, no verse. I don't all those names. Na ancient name, no be those. A lay being the claim say they be senior. These names where they mention so now ancient name. Sorry, uh -huh. more than they see people were in kill and the name of the communities. Oh, whom you are, oh, sorry, oh, whom you of Iguisi. Igui, Igui, oh, is he? Igui is he? Igui is he? He cut the head. A killer, a man of Iwu, he cut the head, a killer, with the support of uh, the guns where Portuguese given river ninety one. He said of Utekon. If you don't know, he said of Utekon. He said of Utekon helped the Oba fight many wars. At the end of the day, he know he said would become a king on his own, a killer. These people with the see Oba, people with the serve Oba, none of them they progress. Now backward, now they lazy. Go see all those chief with the palace. You know, see your mother today, na. He, your mother today daughter they do a shower for Italy. And he, na any way Oba they go, na they shout. Oba talk play. Oba na man na man na. Oba na bagar bagar. Oba no even help your mother today daughter. See me they work for Guinness. Even as a cleaner, they will never allow anybody to progress. Make a they call and they go. He, he killed the Ise of Uteko. Ogemobo of Oka. He killed the Ogemobo of Oka in Opa and he put his son for there. Without no reason, he just the wage war because of the Portuguese give them gone. And those all those places where they measure so now all those Benaria and just he killed these people, put in brothers and his son. And on the top, say. It was a war already. People will kill your ancestors. Now, now you didn't worship. <laughs> if you have a nice one, I'm gonna share. Eh, me, I just called it now. Eh, uh, this eh, among the people we in kill, which I started from the gate from the beginning. We are number one, a lake in the Ofugbilaka community, five kilometers from the upper palace. Oh, whom you Ohum Yovo of Iguisi in the local government or Mode. Egmai of Iwu. Ise of Ute Kon. I will say of Ise, what was sorry, I read, I restart it again. Among the people we killed were number one. I restart all again. Among the people we killed, in the Kidi of Ubilaka. Ohumiovo of Iguisi. A mind of Iwu. Ise of Utekon. Ogemobo of Oka. Ata Bitibo. Ata Bitabo. <laughs> Sorry, my verse. Ata Batibo of Ogbe. Idemu of Evia Kagba. Aira Lama, Aira Lama of Isha, Isha, Ohe Karede, Ohe Kerede, Ohe Kerede of Udunza, Ese, Ohe, 
Uwe of um, um, Amagba. Uwe, uwe re, o keze, o giagbe, o giagbe hu, o lo humwa, o lo humwa, o vye, o vi vi, o vi vi, and egboma, egboma rea, of o humwa, o humwa, Sorry, all those names I am measuring, all those names are the measure. Now, all those Oza, if you live in Benin, Oza is very close to Baba Palace. Oza was having their own duke or king. Ogbe was having their own king. Oba was just, I don't, how these people just catch us with the help of the Ilife. They were killing us. Killing our our tradi our people, the people made them to the land. They started, but they didn't kill Ogiamie because they have a, a treat. The reason why they didn't kill Ogiamie was they could have killed Ogiamie. It was possible for them to kill Ogiamie because they have guns by the Portuguese. They can kill anybody killable. But the reason why they didn't kill Ogiamie is because so, that is another story for another day. Because we know dry bone will uh, one day rise again. You understand? So. I don't tell you now, see, you see all those communities where they measure so, I must have been talker. Because I must have been the name. If you see all those names, not be from our, not be our language name, be that one. Because me, you tell you, know, see, the language where we speak today, not be the language we speak in those days. The names, you know, we see Osamede, Osa Bovo, Osa this, you know, we see all those things for inside. So, I will continue to read and they go me and explain many things to me. The conflict of Ozolua with the people of Iwu, of Uge, the Igbo people. He said because of uh, the people of Iwu, Igbo people refuse to bow down for her. So the people of Igbo tell and say we cannot bow down for you because you are not our ancestors. He carried guns with Portuguese, give them all those things. They wage war against the people of Iwu and Ibai. Those people capture her. They capture Ozolua. Instead of them to kill Ozolua, they, they cap, keep him as prisoner. Before they know what they happen, Ise laid another ambush to rescue Baba Ozolua. Most of the wars were was the only way now he said from who take on now he did behind that even our own edg he joined foreigner to kill his own people i think you see all these things i all these things they happen those days well at the end of the day he said he caught his head killer so these people let me go talk about the story of Iwu. The, 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 the conflict of uh, Obozola in Igbain, in Obahi there. You see the Ogigbain, that Igbain, the father of, uh, what do you call it, Igbe, that, that woman we marry when kill. That man is his own descendant, the Ogigbain. Because the Igbain people were our descendants, descendants of uh, Ogiso, Ogi, Godomi, Godos, or Idulan. So the, after those people refused to kill Ozolua, then he said, and some of our people will be a bunch of betrayers, support and release Ozolua. Ozolua come back again. You know what Ozolua do? As Ozolua reach there, that man, he mind the Ogie by, kill that one, kill a wife, kill all the children. Those chiefs, all those elders, all of them were, their heads were taken to Baba Palace, their head, heads of human beings. They carry their head and use the blood. They mark, they put a... Uh, and those people, they were killing. They were our own people. They kill... <laughs> they kill him. They, he said he fought 200 battles. There was never a time Obazula went to Kaduna to go and wage war. Or he went to Cameroon to fight Cameroon war. The people, they were killing... Where the people around Benin, 
And those people are our brothers. You see what happened? So we try to explain to you today so that you can know how these people, they say they conquer, they win war. But you have to know which war they won. So I will explain. Yeah, I explain. Say, can they say, well, because of my easy. So, if you soon what the man, please uh, let me use uh, my language for one minute. Well, he said, not a man. He am more than he is that he. And the big man, say me a big boy, he mag boy. He said, we take on. Now you are in force. You are the free. He, the big man. Abo ka me ni rebo. Oba zola, ogbe li awa, ogya ginyan ya hu. Eme forgiveness. The Oba Abini does not have forgiveness. So, if you are fighting for the Oba, your end will be disastrous. And that land will punish you. That's you see, people who are fighting for the Oba, they don't progress. Look at them. They will always die with stroke, with miserable disease. That's how the people died. Okay, we above that place now. Mm -hmm. Okay, when after he don't fight many many wars, they extend the leg, you know, the uh, the title he was extending the Dudua dynasty. It was you see today the man they talk to Nai born Nai born everybody. He will they kill people from the land. You see now you born who? Well, let me just finish this story. Ozola owns his victory. I repeat here, Ozola, Oba Ozola owns his victory over himself. Who take on to Emwe Emwe Oria Orioria? Now I know somebody called their name Orio Orio Oria Orio Ori. Sorry, Orin Oria Orin Oria. I know somebody called their name O R O I M W O R O I Orio Oria Orio Oria. Or you warrior, you see the name. All these people they answer those days. Eh? They know they see those names. Nobody they answer all those names nowadays. For you to know, say the language you speak now. Now, now a combination of Ife language mix up with the indigenous language. It's a combination of Ife. Because the Yoba Abini was from Ile Ife. Oba to kill Ise. Ise who look, make I explain. Ise was the follower of Oba who joined the Oba, who was a captain of the war, the Oba fought to kill our indigenous people, to be killing us, killing us, just like Oba Zimov is fooling himself to dinner, supporting Oba Benin to be fooling himself. That is how and just like Tony Kabaka because the Zimofis have not killed anybody. Just like Tony Kabaka, who is killing for the Oba Abini. That is how he said was killing, 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 killing. At the end of the day, the Oba Abini turned against his He was not able to kill his Let me call it Mwemwe. Or Mwemwe. Mwemwe. Let me call it Mwemwe. Mwemwe connived with the Oba to betray his and he said was killed, and the head of his head was taken to palace. You see, they were arranging their heads. And you see, if you if you I will show you one of my pictures. Any king they kill, they will put the heads in the ground in the palace. And those people when they were killing, those people where they kill now our ancestors that they kill. None of these people come from Malaysia. These people they were killing, they were killing us. This is our history. Now, what in our history talk with that one? So, a mwemwe, I'm not supposed to call their name, let me just call it a mwemwe. A mwemwe who also connived with the Oba to kill Ise was happy. Say, Oh, I am the one who helped the Oba to kill Ise. The Oba been sent for him, and he had, well, they still remove the head, the head was also removed. So, if you see. The story where they talk they couldn't for Zolwa. In the case, the noble like a to betray his husband so that to marry the Oba. 
after two weeks, the one when he caught his head, killer. He said, we join Obazolua to the kill all those our indigenous leaders, kill them one by one, kill their wife, kill their children, they're destroying them. At the end of the day, he said head was removed. A woman who also joined Oba to kill his head, at the end of the day, a woman head was also removed. <laughs> you understand? So they are specialized in removing their heads. So let me, may, may I go another place again? Obazula was very happy to capture many of our villages around Benin because he, he, he felt that one day, he think one day these people will rise up against him and kill him. So the next thing he was doing was to send his children to lord over those people. Just look. Mm -hmm. uh, he also fought another war in, in, a, in a place called Siloko. A map, a map, a the instrument. Imaba. Uh, I don't know how to speak for English. For Siloko Road, towards uh, Siloko Road, there was a uh, Ejide. There was a, a man who was there uh, called Ejide. Obazola marched against without nothing. Those people not do anything. He just marched against them, killed the king, carried the head, come over palace. The people he was killing, he was not killing foreigners, so he was killing the indigenous people of the land. Our ancestors that they were killing, he killed a Ejide. Let me read the place. Ozula wage war on Oribo. Listen, say the name of Oba Ozula wage war on Oribo. Then a powerful chief of Ejide in Siloko Road, in the Siloko district, he subdued him and sized his treasure, including the instruments instruments uh, for for the ima, ima, imaba imaba royal dance which is still performed for the oba and some of the senior chiefs today he killed the 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 the, the, the king of that place what the king or when we call it king he killed the AGD of that place, he killed her. After he don't kill and finish, he took the the only historical thing they have. It's called a Maba. Ban. That's ban. He collect all those things. And these people he was killing around Benin. This is our ancestor. He killed many of our ancestors. Eh? I'm just saying Siloko district. This, this page, page 30 of short history of Benin. So this, um, these are people who kill us for many years. And you are still saying it's your second God. Let me read it for you. I might as well So, uh, so look, I want to read the history of uh, our war. Uh, I have to read the history of our war. He marched all war in Ondo states. When he marched, enter all war for Ondo states. 
with the help of the Portuguese, the guns who they give them. Those people surrender themselves. He requested for slaves, and you know, slaves, women, children, all those things, the pack giver. He said, ah, these people get respect. The name of that town is called, he named that place called Owo, Owo mean respect. That is the people of Owo today. That is the name called Owo. And the people of Owo in Ondo states are the people who ran away from the evil of the Oba of Benin. So speaking Owo language doesn't make you an if a man. The people of Owo in Ondo states, history says it, says it that they are from Benin city. They are not from the descendant of Odudua. They are our brothers. This is our history says it. The people of Owo. The name of Owo is not Owo. It's called Owo. Owo means respect. So let me go ahead again. So among the cities where Oba Ozolua captured with the support of guns from the Portuguese, there was never a time the Oba Abini can conquer any village. They would defeat him. It was because of the guns the, the, the Portuguese gave, gave them that made them to call themselves empire. And you see the people they were killing. They were killing, <laughs> killing us. They <laughs> see the people, like, they, they worship their oppressors. That's why they are cursed. But when you stay them, they are cursed. They will not believe. They are cursed human beings. That's why some people, they, they don't want to marry from the Bini tribe. Because... When you marry them, they are good people, but they have a problem from the land that goes with them. It's, it's a historical problem. That's why I have come today to try to help them. But uh, I, I, I know it that if they don't listen to me, they will perish. <laughs> the Bible said it that the Egyptian you see today, <laughs> you shall see them no more. They will cease to exist. In a few years' time, they will become slaves. And this is not, we are not moving backward anymore. They will not have a place to come their home again. I tell you today, go and mark it. So let me continue. Among the, the towns where Obazo were captured, let me make sure the name of the town for you. He, after he captured those town, he put his son and the family for their king with the Lord of Aden. The he, he conquered Ijebu day in Ondo State. Ijebu lands. Ah, uh, Obaozola captured Ijebu day. Because people were running here and here, people were running. He captured Ijebu day. And he stayed there for some years. And he put his son. The name of he put his son as the uh awoja what is awoja awojale awojale of ijebu the the the, the ijebu ode in uh, good states ijebu ode about zulu conquered that place and put his son there as the king He said conquer another community they call Ohumu. Ohumu was conquered by the by the uh, what they call Prince Aruan, that is son of the Oba, one of the Oba sons. He conquered one place and all those places. I don't know where this place is. Ohumu. I don't know whether in Yoruba land 
a conqueror place brought a large number of slaves captives to Bini city. Captor, many slaves. Hmm. And when Oba Ozola come back from the war, he caught the head of one of his wife. Hmm. Okay, I want to. Then he he make when see the town or uh, the towns and villages he had conquered and make his son as their head. Idobu in the uh, upper Sokomba roads, he make his son as the Ogidobo. Udo, 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 in a uh, Udo, Udo community, that is where, uh, 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 what do you call this called again? Uh, Ogaputa, where come from, Vinibi, was captured by Osbazolua. And he put his son there as, as prince, as not prince. Sorry, he put his son there as duke. Enya, he killed the king in Enya. Enya, where they have Coca Cola, he put his son there as Enogi, Enogi of Enya. Then, the father of Alani of Iduani. Iduani in Olo, Iduani in Olukwe. I don't I don't know how to tell. The father of Alani of Iduani, I don't know which community is this. Now he put his son for there. The Olukwe of Okwe. Well, there's Olukwe of Okwe in Afema. He put his son for there. The Owa of Owa. He put his son for there for those states as the Owa of Owa. Awu Jele of Ijebu, Ode. Now his son for now he put for there. Easy of Abo. I don't know where it's called Abo. It's not called a land. It should be called a land. Easy of Abo. Now his son he put for there. Oguan of Ora. Now his son be that one. Then Dean of Agbo. Obi of Isiluku. Obi of Oguashuku. Olu of Wari. Then he put his son for all those places. So, uh, I know if you continue to read all this history, now <laughs> make we are for rich. Make I just stop for that place. Make I go front front. Make I explain. Uh, make I first explain all those places first. You see, let me I use English. I use. I don't know what I will use. You see, the make, why I'm trying to explain to you today is that when the Oba Bene was given a portion of land in the present day Oba Palace for lease for rent, the palace where the Oba Bene lived today is a rented apartment. That a rented land a property. Well, that's why we could have the Ekiopara Treaty. But this is another a story for another day. Gumeri Yirai no work with Rabo. I will put the blame on Ogame. If Ogame never rented a part of the land to Oba, Oba could have not have that power to kill all our ancestors they have killed for many years. They were killing us and they were they are not telling us that they conquer America, they conquer Japan, my brother. Where did they conquer? They never conquer anybody. The people they were killing. They were killing the people they met in the land. They were killing us. They were driving us away. People were running because if you check our history, everybody were running away from our land. So what I'm saying today is that the history of Ozolua in 1481 AD. Ozolua is a person who started this war to expand the Odudua dynasty from Ilife. Today, we are still suffering from the pains. You see, the Obabini is not saying today is in his land. There was never a time the Obabini owns any part of our land. So we want to go straight to the history of Obaresi again. Before the death of Oba Ozolua, he have three sons. Uh, one is called 
Osawe. The other one is called Idubo. The other one is called, let me see their name. Let, let me just explain. Oba, I want to tell you the history of Udo, Udo community. I want to tell you the history of Udo. I, Udo is an Ijo word, an Igbo word. Udo is not a Lefe word or from a Lefe because Oba Abini came from a Lefe. So I want to tell you another story that concerns Udo. Because many people who come from Udo, they don't know their history. They don't know how it started. They don't know what happened. If you check the history of the Udo, many people migrated from Udo to some part of Igbo land. Some people migrated from Udo to some part of Lagos, to some part of Togo. People were running for their day life. We were having two cities, two towns. One was Igudomigudo city and Udo. Everything have to do. You see, if you check our history, the names, I, I cannot even pronounce those names because those names don't have meaning in my language. Automatically, you knew, you knew that those people are, that the Oba Abini kill, the names that is listed here, don't have meaning in my language. These names have meaning in the Jaw world and Ishan words. Deep Ishan, not all those local ones. Maybe inside inside Ishan and Igbo. You can find those names in inside those language. So you see the way we are very happy and we continue to give thanks to late Jacob Egariba, blessed memory. That is the man who was born in the 18th century who documented some of our history. He was scared to even write more about our history because the history of Benin is full of blood. That's why they called Benin a city of blood. But what I'm trying to say today, uh, let me go to the history of Obaesige and Udo. I have to start from Udo. Udo is the name, the meaning of Udo means peace. Udo, which is an Ijo and Igbo word. The people who live in those areas those days before the coming of Romeo from Ilife, they all ran away. <laughs> they ran away from their family land, their father land. So let me just explain the history of Udo. The king of Udo is called Akpanigyako. The name, because the man teeth was scattered, scattered, he's a, he's a king. Everybody was lording over their territory. No, no, none of them was under the Oba because Oba now, after he had came to stay, after our Giamme gave him a portion of land for rents. And some of our elders conspire with them to betray the land. That's why they will never progress except they have to place the land. They will continue to perish. I say it. The indigenous son of that land must come to rule us before they can have peace, or they will never have peace. They will be destroyed. Let them be fooling themselves. That is how they will all end. This is a history. And this is from the spiritual world. I am saying all these things today. We need to respect that land. That is our fatherland. But I will do my best. But if people refuse to listen to the word of that land, it will all perish. There is no amount of prayer in which church, prayer clinic that can save you. You will die. You see, this is how... The, our Lord tell me how you will all die. You will reign. People will hear you. Ah, America, America, America. But at the end of the day, you will see how you start battling with different type of miserable disease that you cannot even explain. Because that land is a holy land. The land have been crying for freedom for many years. And I believe. And you have to join us to free the spirit of the land. To have peace. Our land don't have peace. If you pray in church, 
the more you pray, the more your, your situation continues to be worse. The highest church in Nigeria could be from Nedo State. But deaths continue. Blood of the innocent one come to speed. I tell you today, our land consume the blood. Our land will continue to suck the blood. There will never be many people who will ever have peace. As long as that land does not have peace, if you like Rongo, Jamaica, you will never have peace. The only way you can have peace, you have to respect that land and the land want freedom. The only freedom that land want, the land wants indigenous son of the land to rule over there. And I repeat, this is a prophecy today you must keep in your memory. As long as you are a descendant of some of those elders who betray the land, you will never have peace. You will run to Australia to school, but you will end up miserable. You will start complaining. I was very rich before. I was good before. But now I don't know what is happening to me. The land say so. And the land will continue to do all those things. We need to free ourselves. So let me just talk about this short story of where uh, Udo is me it do, do me peace. Udo in in the those state in you know, me peace. And we will have different clans in those areas in those days. This language they call Bini language. This is it's a combination of a Yoruba and some sets of our indigenous language that form this language. This is not the language that they speak in those in those days in that area. Everybody all ran away, poor and for their day life. Today we are trying to explain some of the things that happened in our land. Udo was a a, a, a land called peace. We were peace-loving people until Oromia descendants started destroying our happiness and our peace. That's why we don't have peace today. When you destroy peace, what will you have? You have sorrow, pains, disease, destruction. Because the peace of our land have been destroyed. And some of our leaders participated in the destruction of our our kind, Udo, me peace. Udo is a community in Edo State. The man who overlord Udo is called Akmani Giacom. Many many years ago, the Obabini was looking for one way or the other to kill him because that man was not from Ilife. It's not his descendant from Yoruba land, from Ilife land. Sorry, not Yoruba land. Ilife. He gave out a wife to the king of Udo. And the king accepted the wife. Later on, they wanted to use the son of the or the daughter of the Oba to kill Akwanigekon. The Akwanigekon now realized, oh, so the Oba want to use his daughter to kill me. Akwanigekon led some warriors to defend our fatherland fought against the Oba Bini with the support and the guns the, the Portuguese gave to the Oba Akmani was dis, was defeated because of the guns at the end Akmani head was removed to the palace they are trophies head of our ancestors that is you people who are fighting for Oba you will see how you will all end a miserable life even though you hide you will never have peace in your life as long as you continue to support light. If you support light, we have light. When you support darkness, you will, you will remain in darkness. I know the one who said it. This is our spirit of our God said it too. That is how Abanyaga was killed. He now put his son there. He make his son as a king. Ugudu. Later on, I want to tell you how they started having year say of Udo. In the beginning, it was an indigenous people like the Jos who were, who were, who were there. Because check all those names, you trace their, their language where they come from. 
those people were removed and he placed his son there as the, what do you call it, as the Ogi, ruling over there. So how it all happened that we now have yourself do, this is what I am going to explain to you today. You understand? I will explain all these things to you. Then, Osawe is the name of uh, Obaesige. His brother's name is called Idubo Arwan. There were three boys that Obaesige have. Three sons. So, Arwan was born in the morning. And Arwa did not talk, cannot speak. He did speak. He did speak up. And they were doing everything, trying to revive Arwa to talk, to not to talk, to cry. Arwa did not cry. Later on, Oba, uh, what do you call it? Osawe would later become Oba Esige cry. And the mother of uh, the mother of Arwa is a Yoruba woman. Oh, me. Oh me, sorry. Oh me, oh me. You see, these people they they, they cannot deny where they come from because <laughs> the, 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 the 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 what do you call the everything is going with them. Oh me was the mother of Arwan from Ife, Ife woman. Why the mother of uh, SG, uh The SG name is called Sawe. Is from the the other uh, some of the clans from that place. So they were having a problem when Arwan refused to cry. Arwan did not do all necessary procession. They not say, oh, SCG is the senior. The Arwan, when they, when they were growing up in Noba Palace, all of them were wrestling. When they were wrestling among themselves, they were wrestling, fighting to see who is the strongest along the line. The third one broke his leg and paralyzed. They now make that one as the Duke of Idobo. Because they have killed the king there. They make that one as the king. Duke of Idobo. Then, it was not left between uh, Arwan and Nosesige. So, Oba Ozolwa went to fight war. He went for war in Urumi. When he went for war in Urumi, he was defeated by Agba, the Ugi, Ugi Urumi, the, the Ugi. You see, he was killing them one by... You see what happened in those days? Uh? The Oba was expanding, killing the indigenous people of the land, the people he met there. He went to Urumi in Asian land. When he went there, they waged a war with Urumi people, the Asian people, the Asian people united. The Oji Urumi went to seek for support from the hand of uh, what is called this, the Atta of Igala. The Atta of Igala refused to support. For you to know that we were all one people, you see, the Oji, Oji Urumi, they call it Oji Urumi went to Igala. For you to know that the Igala and the Urumi people, they have something in common because he went to ask for help, to seek for assistance from the Igala to destroy the Oba. Because the Oba, the Oba was coming to destroy them and put his son there. But it was very difficult. The Ota of Igala rejected the offer. The Agba said there is no problem. Let him do it alone. He gathered the Isha people to fight Ozolwa. There was a war. At the end, after some weeks or months, uh, Ozolwa captured Uzia. And the OJ, that is the Duke of Uzia head, was removed. He was trying to capture Orumi. Then the Agba makes sure that it doesn't happen. At the end of the day, Ozolwa was killed by Agba. That is the OG Rumi, the king of Rumi. Kill Agba. His name is called Agba. You see those names you are seeing there today? These are ancient names. This is not the 
Il est bien nommé, il est now given to us today. Osa, 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 this, osa. These are all fake names. That is how he was killed and his head was removed. There was a, a word, a loud voice in each land. Esangbedo, Esangbedo. You see, you know what the meaning of Esangbedo? They not turn it. You see, these people are very good in changing words. Esangbedo. You see, Esangbedo. Esangbedo. That is, Esan have killed Bene. That's uh, all those adult children. Esangbedo. The real word is not Esangbedo. Esangbedo. They were jubilating. The Ishan people were happy. Esangbedo, Esangbedo. Because Ozolo was a terrorist. Was a terror. Killing people, killing people, killing people. For no reason. He just loved to. The Ishan people were celebrating. That's why you see today. They will say, uh, it's Naima. You see, the news fit to Benin that, ah, Isha killed the Oba and the head. Do you know what even happened? Eh? After killing the Oba, they hold, they, what do you call it? After killing the Oba Zolwa, they will seize the corpse. They didn't give the body. <laughs> they, they never, they, they refused to give the body. Uh, what I can say in English. After they don't kill the Oba, they seize the dead body. Urumi. They seize the dead body of the Oba. They say they don't go give him out. So the, the dead body was lying there. How do you call it? In the, what do you call it? Uh, Embalmment. Just, just they put it on fire to, you know, dry it like fish. The Ishan people refused to release the dead body of the Oba. They were jubilating. It was a great celebration in Ishan land. Esan Bedo. Esan Bedo. Esan Bedo. The word was called Esan Bedo. Esan Bedo means Esan have killed Edo. You see, the Edo and Ishan. This is a different word there. But the Oba have been calling all of us Edo states. We, everybody are not Edo states. That is why these people are trying to separate themselves from darkness. This is history. People who are from Edo State, particularly those Isha people, they understand what I am saying today. They understand me. Esan Bedo. So there was now an, a, a peace treaty, an agreement. Ihimi. They say three, call Ihimi. Then, before the corpse of the Oba must be taken to Benin, then the Oba, the family of the Oba, must come and sign a treaty. And they have to sign that they will never fight war for all their generation to come with the Isha again. There was a treaty in Uzia. They said, I'll go and bring my book. They say, they say, I will come and list the name of that place where the, where the treaty was there. The place where they put the body of the, the place where they buried the dead body before they were assumed and taken. The place is still there in Uzia till tomorrow. Because of the civilization and the, the Oba Bini was in the upper hand, because of the influence of the Oba Femi and Wolo War, that's why they're trying to cover the history. The word remains Esan Bedo, not Esan Bedo, Esan Bedo. That is where the word generated from. Esan Bedo. They were happy. So, do you know what? When the news fit out to Bini, say, Oh, what happened? Esan Bedo, Esan Bedo. Ah! They were shocked. Then that is where the adage came from. If you mean something, do you know what that means in English? That is when you see an Ishaman and a snake, you have to kill the Ishaman before you kill the snake. Then I say because the Ishaman people are very dangerous. Because these people fought stand still upon the guns the Portuguese gave to them, but the Asian people were they fight gallantly and they killed the Oba. That was an history. It's only two people who have killed the Oba, the British and the Asian. And the first people to cut the head of the Oba is the Asian people. So an history. That's why I say. Isa. And you see, today they are now coming out with a fake history. 
that uh, Oba of Benin is the father, he give birth and drive his children, and children are becoming shy. He's just lying to people. But today, people like me will not allow those lies to rule with. And if you come and call him out swear instead of a night, will start burning it, burning it. They don't want to believe truth. They want to remain in darkness. That is what happened in Uzia. So, we are, let me just analyze it. Then, after the death of Ozolua, they now sent, before Ozolua died, he said uh, he have two sons who are eligible to become the Oba. He said uh, when his dead body is copied, uh, anybody who, who can bury, uh, the, what is the name of this man? Uh, the Dubo, what is called, the Dubo is a, uh, Arwan was living in Udu for them to stop the fighting. There was, an, there was an agreement between Ozolua, their father, and his two sons that Esigi should remain in Bini and the Arwan should remain in uh, Udu because Udu and Bini were having it was equal size was two towns they have. Then all those chiefs they have in Nova Palace Arwan was also operating those chiefs Esong, Esogma, uh, Yama, all those chiefs the Yoba Bini have. Arwan was also having all those title chiefs in, in Udo. He organized all those things. Everything was organized for him. So, when they were bringing Ar uh, Oba Zolo, after they have made treaty, the only route you pass to Ishan land in those days is through the river from Udo. The goes through the river from Udo River, that is Ovia River. Anytime they are going to Ishan land, they pass through Ovia River. That is the Ovia River the Romia came through. That is the pass to Owa. That is the river they always follow. That is that river. That river is the only route we have in those days. So Arwa was more and when they are carrying the corpse of his father from Uzia, he must surely pass through Udo. They now decide to arrange it according to the history. They arrange it in one way or the other. Down. They, they bypass Udo and take the corpse of Ozolua to Edo to be need to be buried. Why uh, 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 the, 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 the corpse that was made, uh, the coffee they made for Ozolua was very beautiful. When, uh, when the what do you call this man, the uh, the Arwan, the Arwan saw the casket, he was happy. Oh, this is my father. And when Arwan was about to celebrate to bury his father, he found out that there was nothing inside the coffin of his father. The Arwan, uh, Arwan decided to hold Osa, Oswan. Uh, the what they call it, the chiefs Usa Oswa. They were captured by Arwan. They were to be executed, but Arwan refused to kill them. Usa, who is the Bini Pukor God today, escaped. According to the history, they say he vanished to Bini to support the Oba to become uh, the Oba. So. Arwan was not comfortable. There was a war between the two brothers. Between Arwan and what you call it now, SCG. Let me continue. During the fights, Oba, Oba Esige, with the support of the Portuguese, the gun they gave to him, with a war against his brother in Udo, Arwan. There was a serious fight in Udo. During these fights, the only son 
Yulip's son of Arwan, his name is called O. Let me call the name very well. I, it's only Yoruba man would understand the name of these people. These people are Yoruba people. They are from, no, they are from Ilife. Mm, let me call the name. O O I N O in O in O ni the the son of uh, Arwan. See, don't let people deceive you. Arwan did not dig any moat in Benin. There was never a time Arwan dig any moat. These are all fake. Arwan have a child. He have a son. The name of the son is called O O I N O in O in O ni O in O ni. That is the name of the son of Arwan. This is what happened. There was a fight between these two brothers. Obaye Sige killed the only son of Arwan, uh, Arwan half. After killing his son, he wanted to capture Arwan alive and cut the head like the way they used to do it. And Arwan knew very well that if Obaye Sige captured him, it's finished. Those stories they are telling you, I don't want to do this, it's all fake. Look at what happened. After the serious battle, I don't knew very well with the support of those guns they brought from the Portuguese, he will be captured. I don't went straight to a river, it's called Udi. He fell inside the river and sank himself. When he was, he killed himself, he committed suicide. Arwan, the chief of Udo, committed suicide. Let me tell you why we have years of Udo. People don't know the reason why we have years of Udo today. After our buys the years, eh, the same status quo, the, 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 the same thing with the Obabini was having in the palace, the same way the years, eh, what do you call it, Udo? Arwan was the Oba of Udo, while SCG was the Oba of Benin. That is how it was. Because they conquer those land, it's not their land. We were fools allowing these foreigners to just <laughs> drive us away from our land <laughs> and take over us. Do you know why we have the ESL for do today? After the death of Awa, Obai Sige said never in history will he allow his son or his brother to become to Lord of Awudu. Instead, he sent, let me look at the person he sent to, he sent someone to become the years of Udu. Let me, let me read it, please. It's, look at, let me read from here. He said, battle where, battle where fought and the town of Udu destroyed. Or uh, okay, I'm not up to that place. I will read it, this place. Let me continue from there. Troop were sent in Gist Udo and more in this. Okay. Okay, let me say, oh, let me read from here. It is from here. I have to read it out for you to know. Many battles were, were fought. Sometimes one said uh, being, being victory. One, one side be victorious. And sometimes the other side be victorious. By the name of the, the battle was called Okuo Oko Uba. Oko Uba, that is the battle of blood. In which Oni, I'm sorry, in which Oi Oni, the only surviving son of Arwan, was killed to avoid to avoid being taken prisoner. Arwan drowned himself in the lake called Odigi in Udo. After this victory, Obaye Sige had peace for some times.
I want to uh, explain that place. You see, after killing Arwan, to the death of Arwan and kill his son. So when they kill you, they will kill your children and kill your descendants to make sure that you people don't exist. If it were those in those days, my father, my family, the, he thought the whole of my village have probably executed. But he knew he cannot do this. If he do it, he will be arrested and put to jail. He can only do it through Kony way. But they know the Oba Abini and Tony Kabaka is killing for him. Everybody knows all those things. You understand? So I want to continue from where I stop. We want to go the, to the history of the people of uh, uh, what do you call that city in Ondo State? Ondo, Ondo. The people of Ondo are my brothers and my family. These are my family. This is how, this, how the history says. Let me read the history for you. See, after the victory, the ERC of Udo wanting to avenge the defeats and death of his master. After the defeat of uh, what do you call that man? Uh, after the defeat of uh, Arwan, this Arwan, the Binipu were lying, draw, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, <laughs> now, allow this to be the draw a uh, uh, palm tree. Say they use nothing, they sweep aside. All this is not fake. There was nothing like that. If there is nothing like that, it's a fake story. This is what happened after the the, the death of uh, Arwan. The he has said that the next in command to Arwan, which gathered some of his followers, they fight another war. During this during this process, with the guns, with the support of the Oba, as Portuguese. They drive, uh, what do you call this man? Uh, the name of the year, say, let me tell you the name of the year. Say, let me just read it out. You see, after this victory by Obayasige, Obayasige have a peace for some months until Osemega, Ose, Osemega, Osemega. Those names are very strange. The more on or say there was the ERC of Udo on after after the fight after the defeat of Arwan or Barwan in Udo. The next to Arwan was or say the ERC of Udo wanting to avenge the de the defeat and death of his master Arwan, challenge the Oba to fight. And sent troops. Some troops were sent against Udo. So I want to explain this. Or say that after the death of Arwa, our those people who come from Edo State understand the people who come from Udo. Let me use my dialect to, or let me use broken English. After the death of Arwa, Arwa died shameless death because for him not to be captured and he head not to be removed. He killed himself, committed suicide. So, Osemege, Osemege, those names, my brother, sorry, I cannot pronounce it. These are ancient names. For you to know that this Benin they are, uh, they are uh, portraying today, we are not Benin. Our language is not this language we speak today. It's different language from our ancestral language. We have different clans. So, after the defeat of his master, he wanted to... Uh, Kill the Oba. Everybody had been rebelling against the Oba. Right from the time in memoria. These people, they are not our brother. There was a fight. Serious battle. So this Osemega, for him not to be captured, he ran to that place called, uh, what do you call it? Ondo. He ran, he ran to that place. Him and his family and their groups, they ran through the river to Ondo. That they are the people they call Undo today. Today, Undo, they call it Oseme. Oseme. I know some call them Oseme. Where of Undo? Their king is called Oseme. I don't know how to call it. Even the Yoruba man would know him. Oseme of Oseme is the real name. Who waged a war? It was he a say of Undo? Who waged a war against Oba? The people of Undo town. Those Undo, they are our brothers. Thank you. I have explained that one. I tried. So all I want to add to it today, thank you for the small 
orientation i have tried all my best it's not easy uh it's history so this is what happened so let me analyze more about our history if you are watching me around the world i am a man who loves to know where i come from i love to know more about my history but why i am sensitizing our brothers and our sisters to really know about our culture the culture the Oba Abini is portraying today is not our culture. I stand between be, 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 between man and God. I stand before God today that the tradition the Oba Abini is portraying on just we showing on the television that it's a festival, those things, all these are all for me. If it, for the Oba Abini to have come out in the public to be saying that he is the father of Odudua, my Lord, I don't know where that one come from. Because if you check all our history, the history of the Benins. The Oba and his families and his comrades, they are from Ilife, Iyama, see Ife. So what I'm trying to uh, explain today is that the land don't have peace. The land continue to consume blood because the people who are leading us, they're not from our land. Just look, the Oba of Benin is from Ife. Number one, traditional rule and I Number two, traditional rule and I do this is Otaro of Aunchi. Otaro of Aunchi is a Fulani man. I am not against Fulani. Look at people ruling us. When they said they want to traditional head, council of elders. Three traditional rulers representing the state. Number one is Oba Abini is from Ife. Number two, Otaro of uh, Aunchi, a Fulani man. And the real indigenous king is there, Ogineni. He's not recognized. No, but tell you, Ojirwa. The Nuju of Irwa is also from Ife, from Oba family. Look at, look, look, are we dumb and deaf? So we will not have, not only we, they also have it in Delta State. The first class traditional rulers they have in Delta State, Olu of Wari, from Ile Ife. Uh, the end of Agbo, from Ile Look, the system is corrupt. It's corrupt. So I, I tried a lot this evening and I just pulled the history straight. Maybe my English was not correct. I tried to correct it. But all I want to say is that as long as YouTube remains forever, this, uh, these things I've, I've just explained today, this story will remain there. Maybe one day people will always go there to know about the way I narrated it. Maybe I may not be perfect, but the thing I would like to do, I would like to uh, say it like this, that if you are interested about this history book, uh, you can uh, no 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 no. If you are interested about this history book, you can uh, call me on WhatsApp. Maybe tomorrow or no one of these days, I will send you the link. You go and read the history, and you read the history, and the, I will send you like about four or five different books concerning the the Benin's history, the Benin how the Oba came from Ilife. How they destroy our kind, or what they did to us, and I'm not the one who wrote those books. The man who wrote the book was born in 18th century, and he was also a chief in the palace. In those days, they think they thought it was greatness for them to be said they kill Iswa, they did Iswa. But today, they not scared trying to eliminate those books from the public. Hence, but today we still have some of these books with us. You can never find this book in the supermarket or in a bookshop or in. It's very difficult because the Oba Abini pay for the copy, uh, the book to be burnt. Those ones we are having in some some of the supermarket uh, bookshop was all destroyed. The Oba Abini never want us to know our history, but you can see when people are talking about Biafra today, we are talking about our uh, independence from Nigeria. You see, I was watching the Oba Abini the other day. He thought it was those days when he used to kill our ancestors. The Oba Abini traveled to Port Harcourt. These are the people of Andone, the people of Ikwere. The pe see, these people who ran away from our land. But people continue to imagine, say they are creating... Uh, uh, so, sorry to say this word, though. Some people say... They want to, they say they want, they say uh, those state is not Biafra. Some people say uh, those state is not Biafra. 
I just look at some people, I laugh, I laugh at them. Some people say, because because some people, some of them are not, they are not informed, you know, you understand what I mean? They are not informed. They don't understand history. And they don't even understand uh, the education concerning our, our bonds. You go and ask any man from Agbo, we we ask him very well, where do you come from? He will tell you his father told him that they are from Benin. They are not from our family. They migrated from Edo land. How what are you trying to say today that the Edo state is not Biafra? Edo state is what? It's a Odudua or this or this. My brother, let me tell you the truth. I, I am here today. Edo people, they are not Edo people. They are called Igodomi Godo, so we call them Edo. The Edo people we have in Edo states are the Hama family, the Oba families. This is our family. The people we are talking about Edo states, these are family. They don't even have villages. This family, they are families. They are not much. I am not engaged there. But they are just changing the system today spreading their family over our villages doing all sorts of things to claim that they are second god but today i am so happy that most of our people particularly those our family from delta states there is no way you can cut a do state from delta states it's not done maybe you should go and rethink your brain i don't know how you would do that you robo people you see them today 100 percent they are, have the same DNA with me. The Ijo people you see there today, they have the same... I don't know how you are going to cut it. There is no how you are going to cut it. All I know, the Ibos, the Galas, the Domas, the Ishans, the Afemas, the Oman, and those riverine community. We are one people. So, when you are trying to divide us, I don't know how you are going to divide the two, but we'll be watching. But for your information, I am telling you today that you cannot divide the head from the body. When the head is out of the body, the many body become useless. I'm telling you the truth. My brothers and my sisters, that is what I have come today to do. To let our people know that come, you are not from Benin. The name Benin, this are they are like Fulani invasion. That's how these people came. The Fulani were better than the Oba Benin. Because of all the days of the Oba Benin lives, they were selling us. I have never heard Fulani selling people for slaves. Or even Boko Haram selling people for slaves. But the Oba be sold us, used us for human sacrifice. The Islamic way of living was they will convert you to Islam or they kill you. But the Oba being upon their convert, they convert us to Juju to serve Juju. Upon the conversion, they still kill us. They see using us for the sacrifice. I love you all so much. Thank you today. I'm the Lord of our ancestors. So bless you. He said, Thank you. God bless you.